hey guys welcome back to another video so in today's video we're going to talk about how you can work function app with the graph api to send out an email so without further ado let's get started so what you're looking at right now on my screen is the graph api function app that i just created i have it on my repository here i'll paste the link to this uh, repository in the chat below so this isn't going to be our normal youtube video where i would walk you through uh, this whole setup step by step, but this rather be a quick tutorial um, So we already have this code in here So I'll tell you how to link everything up and then you can DIY yourself But if you need a detailed tutorial do let me know in the chat and I'll be happy to cover it as well All right, so, so first thing first what we have is graph API function app over here I have function 1.cs where it usually runs using the HTTP trigger and when it runs, um, it checks the incoming HTTP request data, checks the form. So the form has subject and content. So usually the email has a subject and then the body. So that's what it is. And one more thing that it has is the attachment. So if you want me to cover the attachment as well, do let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to cover it. So once those two things are done, it sends out an email using the service class, which has the method send email. So if I go back here and open the service class, so the service class has uh, the credential details where it takes out the credential that we would define here. So if you see this credential details here, you will get this from the app registration uh, that I'll talk about in a minute. So once you do that, you will get it will get the credentials and then it gets the graph client. So I've used single line comment everywhere to help you understand what it is doing i mean which uh, what line is doing so it would help you there and then here it constructs the message body so once it does that it will uh, check out the recipient and send out the email okay so you will have to set this out um and to do that you will have to create an app registration so if you do not know how to create app registration we already have a youtube video on it um i'll paste the link to this on the youtube um on my description down below so you can check that out um, so first thing first once you create the app registration you would go to the authentication section um, click on add platform single page and there you would enter um, this you are a local host 8080 so if you are running the function app locally you would need this url which is 8080 so that's the port the function app is running locally on my system based on where it is running you would change that uh, once you are done with this, you would create a client secret. So you need to take a note of it. It would be shown only once. And then once you're done with this, you'll come here and select API permission. So you would click on add permissions, uh, select graph application permission. And here you would select mail.send. So I have already selected it. So yeah, there you go. So I've already selected it. You would add this as permission. And then in the overview section, you would get all the details related to uh, your tenant ID client ID and all of those details. So I have set this up locally on my system already So we are good to get started. So I'll show you how it runs and what it does. So let's click on start So it is loading it is trying to build and It would open up a command from there So while it is running, I'll show you my postman setup. So this is the URL. Okay, it's trying to run it right now let's see all right so here it says uh, that's my URL here so that's the one that I'm going to use okay so there it is and then um, if you see we have two subject one is content the other one is subject file we're not going to use as part of this tutorial so first part is content so I'm adding the description here that it is coming from graph API and subject there I'm mentioning is this is the graph subject so I think we are good to send out the email I'll just click on send all right so here it says email is sent successfully so if I go back here check out my email there you go the subject and the content is coming from what we pasted in postman so if I change um, the content here and try to click on send email send successfully again and if you see this is postman subject so 
there you go guys that was a short tutorial on connecting function app with the graph api and sending out the email so i'll pasting all these links in the description down below to let me know how it goes and if you come across any questions queries do let me know in the comment section below until then see you next time adios bye bye